So first of all, I want to say a big thank you to my patient who came up to me after having a successful treatment with the vitiligo and said why not share the information with everyone and actually I thought it's a great idea. So on my day off I decided to create this video for you guys and we're going to talk what vitiligo is in generally, what are the treatments that are offered to people and then we'll go to herbal medicine which is the field I come from and afterwards I'll give you some tips that I give my patients. I will just say before we start that all the information is for educational purposes and it is not a uh, health recommendation. So after we got that said, uh, let's talk about vitiligo. So it's a disease that between half and two percent of society suffer from it and it distributes evenly between males and females. And the interesting thing is that it's an autoimmune disease one third of the patients that suffer from vitiligo also have an autoimmune disease in the background which can be thyroid issues like Graves and Hashimoto or rheumatoid arthritis or diabetes type 1, you name it, there's plenty of them. It shows that there is some imbalance in the immune system and what happens in vitiligo is that the immune cells attack melanocytes which are cells that live in our skin tissue and these cells secrete a substance which is called melanin and that's what actually gives pigment to our skin. The reason this substance is secreted is to protect our skin from the sun rays. Generally the treatment would be using uh, creams that have steroids or any other substance that influences the inflammation process and another method of, of treatment is using PUVA which is psoralin ultraviolet type A radiation and this increases the secretion of melanin. It takes quite a while to see the influence. In general, the treatment of vitiligo is something which is a long-term process. Uh, P stands for psoralin, which is a substance that originates from a herb, which is called buguzi in Chinese medicine. It's a very interesting herb, which I use quite commonly in uh, vitiligo patients. It comes from the category of herbs that tonify the young and another category of herbs which I would usually use are herbs that increase blood flow, invigorate the blood. So one of these herbs is the ginkgo biloba which is talked about a lot and it influences the supply of blood to the tissue. Another herb which I use is the chuan xiong, Chinese herb and then I would usually add some herbs that tonify the blood like dang wei and Shu Di Huang, Remania. And I also like to add herbs that influence the skin tissue. So I would usually pick cold herbs to influence the inflammation process. Many times it would be Jinin Hua and uh, Lian Chiao. These two herbs I like to use together, they have similar qualities. And regarding uh, diet, I would recommend my patients to decrease the consumption of uh, proteins from animal products like meat and dairy and of course avoid any industrialized food. Eat a lot of vegetables and fruits so you get all the antioxidants and vitamins. And also I've seen in quite a few patients that if they uh, avoid eating gluten there might be a good improvement as well. So I would recommend rice as a source of uh, carbohydrates. And I also ask them to do uh, stress management, which means either adopting meditation or doing walks at the end of the day just to unwind or yoga or any kind of exercise which is excellent for moods and uh, releasing some of the stress and tension. Anything that involves creativity like drawing or writing, anything that works for you is also a great way to deal with stress. And uh, the last thing which is important is to make sure that the areas with the vitiligo are uh, either uh, have sunscreen oil on them or they are covered. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. And if you want you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or leave any comment below. And uh, I wish you all good health.